Time for boys high school soccer on the NCW Life Channel. Today's broadcast is brought to you by the Wenatchee Valley YMCA. Now, let's go to the pitch for live high school soccer. Alongside Matt Wisen, here's Sebastian Moraga. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Apple Bowl in Wenatchee, Washington for tonight's encounter between the Quincy Jackrabbits and your Wenatchee Panthers. Hi again. I'm Sebastian Moraga. Alongside me is Matt Wison. Mr. Wison, always a pleasure to have you here with us. And another season and another year of high expectations for the Wenatchee Panthers. Yeah, real high expectations. This team is about as senior laden of a team as I've seen. Uh, anywhere, so, what, 16 seniors on this team. I've spoken to a few of them, and I know they've got really high expectations. I've, I've you know, I've heard some of them say anything less than a state championship. They're going to be disappointed. That so, high? That high. Um, that's that's pretty high expectations. Uh, lots of things can happen with soccer. Absolutely. And the road to is it uh, uh, Puyallup? Puyallup, the whole state, or is it Sumner? To the road to Pierce County begins here uh, at this game against the Quincy Jack Rabbits. Another team with high expectations. They won the state championship in 2014 at the 1A level. They made it to the finals at the 2A level. And ever since then, they've been hoping to go back to the podium among the top teams in the state. When we come back, we'll have a short interview with Coach Dennis Tronson and a whole lot more here on NCW Live Channel. Don't go away. Welcome back to the Apple Bowl. Standing next to me is the head coach of the Wenatchee Panthers, Dennis Tronson. Coach, always a pleasure to see you. And nice to see you. After a start on the road, finally some home cooking for the Wenatchee Panthers. Yeah, we're really excited after a trip to Spokane. We had a lot of success this weekend. Uh, we're able to figure out some things, get a few more players back for tonight, and getting guys healthy as we head towards league season on Friday. What kind of challenges does a team like Quincy present tonight? Uh, well coached, disciplined team, always a state contender at their level. Um, That's 2A. At 2A, yes. And I expect nothing but a real quality match. Mr. Uh, Matt. Uh, Coach, congratulations on your season hey. last year. Thank you. Um, good to see you back here again this year. Um, you know, last year we had lots of success. We, yes. we this year we we lost a a big producer in Matt Springer, um, who is all conference. Was he all state player? Um, yes, he was. How do you replace a player like Matt? And how how do you see your team? Um, what, what do you know about your team so far coming back from Spokane? Uh, after the trip to Spokane, we played uh, Central Valley, who is a perennial Final Four contender out of the GSL. We were able to get two shutouts over the weekend. Um, I feel that our experience in the back, we have a healthy Diego Sidio back. Eric Owen has grown a couple more inches, and both goalkeepers were just lock solid in the back. And then you can't disregard um, Luis Navarrete. He opens the season with a goal and two assists as an All-State player. Yeah, that's great. Now you've got a. I can't remember a team you've ever had 16 seniors on it. Do you, you have that kind of uh, expectations? I've heard high expectations for this year. Uh, I don't want to uh, jinx it or things, but you got to be feeling really good about that. Uh, yeah, this is the largest number of seniors I've ever had. I, prior to this, it was 12, but there were some really quality kids, and uh, had competition was just unbelievable uh, for this senior group, and they've set the high expectations. So they're saying anything less than being in the Final Four would be less than their ability. Not They know soccer's tough, but they see their, their ability at that level. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Coach. Thank Good you. luck uh, in this contest against the Quincy Jack Rabbits. When we come back, we'll have the keys to the game and a whole lot more here on NCW Live Channel. Don't go away. Welcome back to the Apple Bowl. Thank you once again for being with us in this chilly March evening of soccer between Wenatchee and Quincy. Quincy and Wenatchee. Before the break, we were talking about uh, one of the newcomers in this uh, senior-laden Wenatchee squad. That would be Mr. Jonathan Tramberg. And uh, we're going to see something special when we touches the ball, aren't we, uh, Matt? He has uh, been very well coached. Yes. <clears throat> um, I haven't seen him on the open pitch. I've seen him indoor, and he knows the game very well, very tactical. Um, so it's, it'd be nice to see how he incorporates himself with this team, how they play around him. And with him. <laughs> and with him. Yeah. And with him, without a doubt. The last 
minute bits of encouragement happening now with the Quincy Jack Rabbits, the team huddle, as Wenatchee has already taken their positions on the field. We're just about ready to start here, the Apple Bowl. First home game of the season for Wenatchee, first game overall for Quincy. As always, some players kneeling in a in a act of religious faith. Two players in the center circle. Wenatchee will take care of business from right to left, and Quincy will start the action from left to right on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. We're just about ready to start, and we are in business here at the Apple Bowl. Arambulo. Scooped up by Howe, Camarillo, quick ball into the box, rejected by the Jackrabbits. Rivera, ball goes out of bounds, it will be Wenatchee ball, we're 25 seconds into this one. Quick throwing, a bit too long that time for Camarillo. Ball goes out of bounds. Wenatchee nursing a couple of injuries. Mario Chirinos, one of the players on the mend. A quad injury. Goal kick for the Jackrabbits. Beaumont with a bit of trouble. Rejected on the second try by Jose Chepe Lopez. His name is Jose Lopez. They call him Chepe because there's another Jose Lopez on the team who thankfully has a different nickname. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a corner kick for Wenatchee. First one of the game for either team. One minute, 23 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Players gather up at the 18. Now they, they begin to spread out the header. A good defensive maneuver by Quincy when it looked like uh, Eric Owen was hunting for that ball. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a throw in for the Panthers. A uh, quick sweep from behind. Referee says no call. Ball goes out of bounds. It should be Quincy ball, and it is. One minute 55 into this contest. The quick touch for Chucho Hernandez. There's the Nacho man, Ignacio Castillo. Hernandez, back to Gamboa, Beaumont. There's Navarrete putting some pressure. Navarrete entered this game. If not as the record holder, pretty close to being the record holder for Wenatchee in terms of goals and assists, Matt Wisen. He's put together quite a career. He has. He's um, always finding himself around the goal um, <clears throat> and uh, loves to loves to put that ball on that frame. Whistle on the play. Foul called on Wenatchee. It will be Quincy Ball putting it into play rather quickly. Cleared away that time by uh, Diego Sitio. Pushing it to the flank for Navarrete, leaving one behind, trying for two. Navarrete, beautiful move, going for three. He does it, my goodness. What a throwback move that time for Navarrete. He falls to the pitch. Whistle not forthcoming. Ball goes out of bounds, but a bit of old school soccer magic there by Navarrete. Yeah, um, he's not going to take anybody by surprise this year. He's, he's done it the last few years. Not this year. Quincy had four players around him. And, um, and he almost made it through. Yeah. There's a the ball, Saldivar, shot across. Quick header, Orlando Jao, cleared back by Gamboa. Ball goes out of bounds, it will be Wenatchee ball. Three minutes, 35 seconds into this first half of play. It's Wenatchee and Quincy, the Panthers and the Jacks. Kicking off what we hope will be a very entertaining series of games here at NCW Live Channel. Uh, the Nacho Man putting some pressure. Saldivar. Off to the races goes Navarrete and Beaumont. 
hits the deck to scoop that one up. Yeah, that ball just a little too direct. Uh, need to still work on the width and, and uh, bend those runs and angle those, those balls through. There are a couple of players that Quincy might miss this year. One of them is uh, uh, Danny Cruz, and the other one is Kevin Rios. Kevin suffered a multitude, a plethora of injuries. We'll tell you more about it because here's a shot from about, I uh, would say, close to 30 yards out by Nacho Castillo. Not a major problem for Calderilla. Kevin Rios suffered a, ma uh, a variety of injuries but still managed to uh, create some danger when he stepped onto the pitch. He's now hoping to walk on at the University of Washington, no less. Best of luck to him. A quick throw ball that time. Saldivar, a little too long. Ball goes out of bounds. It should be Quincy ball, and it is. Five minutes, ten seconds into this first half of play with Wenatchee and the Jackrabbits from Quincy tied a nil-nil. Today's broadcast is sponsored by Wenatchee Valley YMCA for youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. Owen, marked by two. Coach Guerrero instructing his players. Castillo, long ball, looking to connect with Chucho Hernandez. Good job by Calderilla that time. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be Wenatchee ball. What have uh, the results been like so far for Wenatchee? We, from what I understand, it's a win and a tie uh, for yeah. that trip in Spokane. Coach said it was a good trip, but he wasn't really all that specific. Um, you know, I don't know how they score that. The, the tie was a tie in in regulation. Oh, okay. It went into shootout where Wenatchee lost in penalties to Central Valley. Um, so I think if it was scored normally, it would be a win and a loss. Um, but like I said, w with these kind of friendly matches, I don't know how they how they score the regulation ties. Um, they they took care of Shadow Park, I believe, four nil, and then uh, it was zero zero at end of uh, regular match. Uh, with Central Valley. We just saw a good connection that time between number nine Juan Rostro and Brian Coronel that perhaps deserved a little better fate. A quick counter in the making for Wenatchee. Scoot back by the back line of the Jacks. Trying again for the Panthers is Camari. Your whistle on the play flag is up and it will be a foul called. The ball will belong to the gentleman in green. Well, and on cue, the rain starts falling. Um, it was predicted to start coming in at 7 o'clock. So this, this pitch was playing a little slick and a little fast prior. Oh. So, um, yeah, it would be interesting to see what happens when it gets some more water and how these, how these uh, players react. Yeah, I had the chance to watch Quincy play Cheney earlier today in baseball, and it was a constant threat. A droplet here, a droplet there, but they were able to get the seven, the seven innings in before the rain started in full swing. The ball goes out of bounds, and it will be Quincy ball once again. Lots of blankets, lots of... Uh, very thick blankets <laughs> on display here and uh, well in both sets of uh, uh, bleachers Castillo the quick touch for Vasquez Vasquez interrupted by Celebrezzi that one is Juan Rostro Juan Rostro trying to get some air opening the up to his left back to Juan Rostro Battling it out with uh, Owen, it looked like. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be Wenatchee ball. Eight minutes, 46 seconds into this first half of play. A bit of a high kick, no call. They're still playing next to the flank. Ball goes out of bounds. Wenatchee will put it back in play. Let's see what the referee determines. Yep, just a throw-in. Throw-in. 
into the box, looking to connect with Camarillo. Rejected by the left fullback, Buen Rostro. Flag is up, and it will be Buenachi ball once again. Yeah, Quincy really um, defending hard this first uh, first brief session of the, the match, really putting lots of players back, making Wenatchee, um try and solve that puzzle. The Wenatchee shot. needs to be a little more patient getting through. Once again, there's a shot, and it dances past the right upright. A good effort that time. It looked like by Camarillo from about 16 yards out. It looks, I absolutely agree with you, uh, Matt. They, they have put their chips on the defense early on. They know what the home opener means for a Wenatchee team with high expectations. So perhaps they're thinking, okay, we're going to take their pressure on in the first 10, 20 minutes of the game, and then we're going to start uh, setting our troops forward. Yeah, I think they want to kind of absorb that pressure, maybe get Wenatchee a little frustrated and entice them to send any more players forward, and then try and hit them on a counter. The quick touch to the back by Castillo. Center back shielding the ball so that Cam Calderilla can get to it with a bit of trouble there. Under some pressure by Coronel. Cleared back by Wenatchee along the right flank. The last touch belonged to Tramberg. Ball goes, no, it still stays inbounds. Quincy scooping it across midfield. The quick push by Howe. Off to the races we go. Who's going to get there first is going to be Bauman. Out racing Navarrete. Beaumont. Quincy not really wanting to send many players forward and stay connected to this uh, attack. And it's, and it's hurting Wenatchee. They're really quick getting back in the, and taking over possession of the midfield. Castillo. Chucho Hernandez. That one was Vasquez at the end. Nice move there by Owen. Navarrete. Marked by Vasquez. Quincy recovering. A quick touch along the midfield stripe. The push to the right. Looking to connect with Rivera. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a throw in for the Jackrabbits. 11 minutes, 54 seconds into this first half of play. Lots of. Uh, Blonde haircuts, blonde styles haircuts among the Wenatchee teams. I wonder if it's sort of like an agreement between all the seniors or something. They yeah. all got together and decided they're going to go um, go blonde this season, I guess. Um, Somebody needs to tell Jose Camarillo, though. This is the only one uh, that I can see, anyway. Now, there's a couple out there. Um, maybe they didn't uh, got, get the memo. <laughs> The right time, maybe their their parents found out about it beforehand and <laughs> put the kibosh to it. But <clears throat> good for them. That's all I have to say. I, I guess there's worse things than going blonde, but some of this is a little on the yellow and orange side. Um, a yeah. quick move by Jordi Coronel. They, they could have decided to shave their eyebrows off or something else, and <laughs> I'm all for the blonde instead of that. Uh, I will agree with you on that one. Camarillo. Buen rostro recovering for Quincy. There's Nacho Castillo. Chucho Hernandez whistle on the play. Castillo a accusing a, a bit of a, of a touch there. Cleat to the toe there. Mm -hmm. Yep. 13 minutes, 19 seconds into this one. This injury timeout brought to you by Confluence Health, Wenatchee's premier treatment center for all sports related injuries. There's the kick, and it bounces off the hands of Calderilla. A bit of a header there in the heart of the box surprised him a little bit. Yeah, I was just about ready to say that looks pretty dangerous. That ball away has been skipping around, and um, if he can get through that line, it's, it can surprise the keepers. <clears throat> I, I would say the first true opportunity of goal for Quincy here. 13, almost 14 minutes into this one. There's the corner kick, first corner kick for Quincy, second of the game altogether. Along the left flank goes Nacho Castillo. 
trying to get a shot across, cannot, recovered and rejected by the back line of Winachi. Counter in the making along the, the left flank. Clean sweep of Camarillo by the back line of Quincy. The player there gets a quick high five from his teammate. It was Angel Vasquez on the maneuver. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a throw in for the Winachi Panthers. Celebri Celebrezi. Whistle on the play right at the 18. Foul against Tramberg. It will be a free kick and a dangerous one of that for the Wenatchee Panthers. Let's see what can <clears throat> happen here. Matt Wisen, what yeah, do you like? Exactly the same thing we saw on the other end. Um, I would try and find a little slot through that wall and just put it hard on the, on the floor at, between the frame and uh, make that keeper make a save. It's going to skip around and yeah, really difficult to handle. There's the kick. Left footed, the shot, the diving Beaumont for the save. Good effort by Beaumont. Ball goes out of bounds. The ball could have stood to be a little higher, I think, on that shot. Because he, uh, Beaumont didn't exactly have to like jump or anything like that. He just leaned a little. Yeah, you might. It looked like he was going for the upper corner yeah, and but, bend that wall. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At any rate, a good effort by Winachi and an even better reaction by the gatekeeper of the Quincy Jacks. 15 minutes, 43 seconds into this one. You're going to want to place that ball. If you're going for the upper corner, I mean, either have, a, have it where it's bending in. That's the corner where the keeper's got his covered. That's his responsibility yeah. in that corner. The yeah. wall was taking care of the other corner. <laughs> The heel touch by Quincy. Touch back by Wenatchee. Orlando Howe. Celebrezi. Howe. Quick maneuver with Navarrete. Navarrete. Recovered by Winrostro. Quick counter in the making by Quincy. A bit too long that time. And the stop by Calderilla. Yeah, Quincy will find out in a hurry. If they try and play this long through ball game, not many people are going to beat Eric. Eric Owen in the middle um, in a foot race. <clears throat> he's or, or up high. He's very good in the air, and he's very fast. So um, you need to draw him out of the middle and, and play the angles with him and have two players if you can spring free, but you're not going to get him in a, in a long run. Castillo on one rostro. They touch with Arambulo. Quincy's not afraid one bit of these guys with these guys. They're definitely mixing it up with Wenatchee and um, uh, if Wenatchee was expecting Quincy to lay down just because they're, they're a two-way school, it's not happened yet. It might uh, make a difference later on that Wenatchee has a little more wear on the tires early this season. They have two games already. Yeah. This is their uh, the first one for the Jack Rabbits, but so far it's a fairly even contest. Whistle on the play, foul called, the free kick that will favor the Quincy Jack Rabbits. 17 minutes 45 seconds into this contest. And we're going to have a substitution. It looks like number 11 Jonathan Tramberg will be replaced by number 17 for the Wenatchee Panthers. Quick kick by Quincy he tried to catch Wenatchee off guard and uh, wasn't uh, wasn't on frame. So uh, we get a goal kick on the other way. It's kind of a harmless play for Wenatchee. And as Chirinos, who must be feeling better or good enough to get some playing time here. A quick run, left side, beautiful maneuver, shot across, interrupted nimbly by Hernan Gamboa. Yeah, that, that play looked a lot better. Um, instead of just playing it in through one to one runner, being predictable, they played the second runner there, and, and that's way more difficult to defend. 18 minutes, 45 seconds, Quincy and Winachi, Winachi and Quincy tied a nil-nil. Next up for Wenatchee, I believe, is a game against Sunnyside, their league opener. Uh, across the 
gate it goes. Still battling it in the mixer. Top of the box. And Mr. Castillo trying to clear it out. Another bounce this time for Chucho Hernandez. Pushing it farther up. That uh, clearing doesn't quite work because there goes Chucho Hernandez once again trying to scoop it up and send it into the box. And on a desperation maneuver, the ball goes gets sent out of bounds. But a bit of a uh, rusty play there by the back line of Wenechi. Castillo. Vasquez. Sitio. Vasquez once again. Castillo. Chirinos. Navarrete. Off to the races goes Camarillo. Good move. Top of the box once again. The chipper. Connecting with no one that time. Chepe Lopez. Celebrezzi. Navarrete. Top of the box. Pivoting header by the defense of uh, Quincy, more specifically Chepe Lopez. Ball goes out of bounds. Rain, rain continues to fall here at the Apple Bowl. 20 minutes and change into this first half of play. Quincy and Winachi tied a nil-nil. <clears throat> Quincy on the move now. Nacho Castillo, he's really the customs agent for this team. Everything goes through him at some point. Yep. A quick run down the left side. Trying to connect with Brian Coronel. Flag is up. None of that will count. Illicit position for Quincy. And it will be an indirect free kick for the hosts. Wenechi. Nobody warming up on the uh, Quincy bench. If I am Arturo Guerrero, I'm not going to say I'm satisfied, but uh, I am not quite unhappy with how my, my team has uh, st stood here on the Apple Bowl pitch, Matt. Yeah, he's got a lot to work with. Um, he can make a few adjustments and, and feel good going forward. A quick move down the stripe. Next up for the Quincy Jackrabbits is uh, another road game tomorrow in Leavenworth against the 1A school, the Cascade Kodiaks, who made some noise at the 1A level. As of late, a quick through ball, beautiful maneuver into the box. It goes with Camarillo and Beaumont. Makes the stop right before the line there. I don't know what would have happened if the slick turf would have made him go out of the box there, man. Yeah, you got to let go of that ball, man. Uh, <laughs> I guess your best bet is you're sliding. Just throw that ball out before you go over that line. Quick counter on the making, getting that left foot raid, the shot and the stop by Alex Calderilla. Good effort by Jordi Coronel. <clears throat> He's got yeah. a good foot. You're right yeah, about once that. Once he starts shooting, um, watch out because then he just keeps, uh, keeps dialing it in a little more and more. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be... Wenatchee ball, let's see what the referee says. There's a quick whistle there. I sense a substitution might be in the offing here. Yep. It's going to be number eight. Ferris Nassar. Entering the contest. Quick move along the left side. Ball goes out of bounds. And Mr. Nasser has a history to tell. Number eight. He played for none other than Eastmoon High School a couple of years ago. Yeah, he sat out last him. year. Hmm? That's where I recognize that name from. <laughs> sat out last year. And now he's playing for the folks on the other side of the bridge. And number 24... Brian Coronel has just taken a seat and has been replaced on the lineup of the Quincy Jack Rabbits. We'll tell you in a second who has taken his spot. We're just waiting for him to turn around so we can see his number. 
And here comes the goal kick for Wenatchee. A quick give and go there. And the shot trying to surprise Calderia and almost does. A little opportunistic, but you know what, this weather and might as well just keep shooting. Ezequiel Estrada <laughs> is the player, number 14, who has taken a spot on the pitch for the Jackrabbits. There's a throw in for Wenatchee. How many touches does Nacho Castillo have so far? 20, 30, 35, 40? Yeah, he's, he's, been, a, he's, he's been in everything. Racking him up. Yeah. Arambulo. Whistle on the play. Foul call. It will be Quincy Ball. Were actually taking Quincy a little bit lightly? You know, I don't know. Um, when actually does look a little out of sync. Um, Quincy definitely, I mean, this is like a little brother syndrome sometimes. <laughs> they play out of their minds and... Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a little brother. That's why I'm laughing. Yeah. I know exactly what you mean. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and there, it's a bit of a lose-lose situation for, for a 4A team. You know, I mean, you, you win. Okay, well, you beat uh, uh, a 2A school. Nothing to re yeah. really write home about. A shot into the box. Stopped at the line. And then you lose. Hey, you lost to a teeny tiny school. <laughs> a quick run. Navarrete and how? Back to Howe, Celebrezzi. You, you know, Quincy's smart. I mean, they're, they're letting their playmakers get in positions. They're kind of giving them some latitude and or leeway, the ability to, uh, into the box. to move around. Defensive maneuver by Jose Lopez and the stop by Beaumont. You were just talking about how many touches Nacho's got on the ball. And um, they're freeing him up. You know, if he's playing uh, a number 10, it's kind of... Uh, Kind of where I'm seeing playing right now as a midfielder. But yet he's going up into the number nine spot. He's going over to 11. He's coming over to seven. Uh, or I, I guess the left mid, the right, or the right, left forward, or the right forward. He's going up to the center forward. Um, they're just letting him be creative and, and get on the ball and run the show. And, and it's um, when I just having a hard time with that. He, he reminds me a little bit of those old fashioned Argentinian tents, the ones that, that distribute the ball, but they can also bring some danger across the entire uh, front of the attack. Uh huh. Now, now, Quincy just needs to figure out how they're going to attack one at you. There's the shot and the stop by Bowman from a good chunk of distance. I would say 25 plus yards easy. Ball goes out of bounds. 27 minutes and change into this one. 13 minutes away from the break. Yeah, the ball's slippery. And um, uh, Quincy Keeper did a good job getting that ball down right to his feet and then in and out. Uh, you never know. It's probably had some movement on it and, and a difficult ball. Whistle on the play. Handball called. And it will be Quincy Ball once again. 27-27 on the clock. You're watching NCW Live Channel. Thank you for being with us on this chilly March evening of soccer action from the Apple Bowl in Wenatchee. There's the kick. Clean header that goes not where that player wanted it. It was Owen on the try. Cleared away, only partially. Trying again is Camarillo. Now Quincy getting some distance between themselves and the ball. A quick run down this flank on the left side. Nice move by Nacho. Swept away by Wenatchee. Ball goes out of bounds. No, it will be Quincy. No, it will be Wenatchee ball. I stand corrected. Quick run down the stripe, leaving one behind. Jose Lopez with more urgency than style, just sends it out of bounds. The one thing Wenatchee's not doing is <clears throat> they are they're sending they're isolating the four a little bit when they're getting going forward. Um, the midfield isn't quite keeping up, and they're not able to really keep possession in the attacking third um, with depth, if that makes any sense. So they don't have that drop option or um, possession option to, to bring that ball back and reset it. And so Quincy's able to um, get numbers back in front of those players that are trying to catch up. Shot into the heart of the box. 
trying to connect that time with whistle on the play before we could finish that sentence. It looked like the referee was reaching for his pocket, but no, just a free kick, about 19 yards out, maybe 20. Yeah, Yordi's, this is Yordi's land right here. Um, you saw him step up right to the spot. He wants this ball, and when actually um, that wall's going to be tested here. And so is the goalkeeper, too. And so is the goalkeeper. Um, you know, the one thing, though, about power shooters like Yordi, he's got so much movement on that ball and uh, so much power on it that it can be right at the wall. He needs, some, he needs some space a little. No, no. He can miss. Yeah. He can miss by a mile, or he can really put the the fear of of you know what into you. And Absolutely. <laughs> Twenty nine minutes fifty five seconds. Almost half an hour of play here in this nil nil tie between Quincy and Winachi. Winachi and Quincy. That wall is not ten yards yet. Referee agrees with us. <coughs> and Jordi Coronel getting that left foot ready. Well, and it's Nacho instead who wow. tries for a field goal. That didn't quite work. Yeah, I'm shocked. Um, Jordi took all my kicks last fall and uh, for, for a good reason. A bit of a miscommunication, perhaps, between the two players, well, or perhaps trying to catch him by surprise? Just two players talking, and um, you're already respecting the other player, and, and maybe just showing him a little different look, and, and maybe uh, you already had the last one, and now it's his turn. Um, Makes sense. Yep. Makes sense. Number seven has entered the contest for Wenatchee Panthers. That would be one Mr. Daniel Reyes. Daniel Reyes, number seven. Three subs for Wenatchee so far, one sub for the Jack Rabbits, which tells you that, in a way, Coach Guerrero might be quite happy with the way things are going. 31 minutes into this contest. I have to give the crowd credit. I saw quite a few people from Quincy coming from... Uh, their neck of the woods to witness this game in this rainy March evening and also the home crowd small in numbers but not in fidelity they're mm -hmm. they're staying they're sticking it out they're huddled up they're bundled up and hopefully they'll get pumped up if one of their local sports stars finds the back of the net here's another free kick and now is is, is your turn there's a shot, Ooh. a quick bounce, a header! And before number 15 for Quincy, Chucho Hernandez could connect with that right foot. Mr. Camarilla was spared as the ball went wide. The ball almost looked like it was handled in the box. Um, that was close. Favoring header, Nasser, Reyes. Reyes, recovered by Quincy. There's uh, Nacho Castillo. Sal uh, make that uh, Estrada. Estrada, quick shot from behind, trying to uh, alter Owen, that was not going to happen. No, Quincy's doing the right thing, though. The, when Nancy's got the three back set up, and they're, Quincy's finding that hole just in the um, outside in front of them and making that back three swing, and which opens up some holes, especially if the midfield isn't able to come back and fill those holes quick enough. All right, so, quick take away. Go ahead, please. I don't know if Quincy's seeing that, but they're, they're are, they are exposing that a little bit. And um, they've got something to work with coming in the second half here. Reyes, recovered by the Jacks. The quick give and go with it. That midfielder doesn't quite work. It looks like Brian Sorto, number eight. So Quincy indeed has two substitutions. They just must have uh, sent in Brian Sorto when 
Uh, Reyes went in. Whistle on the play. And another free kick for <coughs> the Jackrabbits. Onanchi's er, uh, giving away lots of free kicks. I was just going to say that. This is not, this is not uh, altogether <laughs> usual for the Wenatchee squad. That perhaps speaks to perhaps a bit of a rust. Yeah, maybe the rust or the conditioning. The, they're, they're kind of stabbing at the ball and catching some legs. Um, the midfield's not getting back in time really to, to give that defense some patience to, to, to defend the way they should be. Two on the wall. The sh cross shot into the box, a bit too too long for the Jack Rabbits. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a throw in for Quincy. There is Castillo trying to zigzag his way past two markers. Can't quite do it. Ball goes out of bounds. Throwing once again, Castillo with the ball. Battling it out with Ezequiel Estrada. But, uh, uh, Saldivar, I beg your pardon. Eric Saldivar. The shot. And Mr. Calderilla with the stop. Rolling to his right rather quickly. A bit too quick for Wenatchee's favor. Oh. Ooh. A bit of um, yeah. unsportsmanlike <laughs> conduct there. When he kicked the ball back to him quickly, I think he realized that he was pushing yellow card land there. Um, so he did the right thing and gave him the ball right back. Coach Guerrero pointing at the play. And now another whistle, and Coach Guerrero's not happy with that call. Play continues. And now it will resume. No, the referee wants the ball a few yards back farther back 36 minutes seven seconds into this one and both teams are getting a little frustrated here i think quincy thinks that they need a little more success on the board and wenatchee's thinking the same thing getting a little chippy which should make for a rather interesting second half vasquez ball goes out of bounds referee consults with his assistants should be Wenatchee ball. I thought so too, but we'll see what he says. Yep, it will be Wenatchee ball. As we have Uriel Balderas enter the contest for the Panthers. We're back in action now. Now the ball has gone out the other flank. 37 minutes on the clock. Castillo, the quick touch to the back. The give and go with Basan. Castillo, ball goes out of bounds. Wenatchee will put it in play. Celebrezzi. The quick give and go to Celebrezzi now. Pass three. That could have been interesting. Celebrezzi trying again. Castillo recovering, only partially. Wenatchee switching flanks now, trying to connect with Saldivar. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a free kick. And now we have a sighting of Mr. Bowman, whom we haven't seen for a few uh, minutes. Matt Weiss and most of the action was transpiring on this, uh, on mm -hmm. the end, defended by Calderilla. We should expect uh, a different goalkeeper for Wenatchee in the, in the second half. It looks like we're going to see uh, Zach, Hurt. Zach Hurt under the three tubes for the Panthers. Playing along the right flank is Arriaga. Arriaga recovered at midfield by the Jackrabbits. Castillo trying to connect. With Sorto. The long shot, not a major problem for Calderilla. Cleared away. And who's there? Nacho Castillo. The clearing doesn't quite work. By Gamboa, shot across. Right flank that time. Reyes, the touch back and over the crossbar it goes. A good effort by Wenatchee. Good collective play, switching from one flank to the other as the uh, Quincy defense dragged to the right. They moved the ball to the left and left a good opportunity for on uh, Chirino's foot. 
that goes over the crossbar. Matt Wisen. Yeah, Quincy uh, got a little bit uh, over aggressive on on tracking that ball in their defense, and uh, when actually found found a good opportunity, just got a little too excited on that shot. A quick run down the left flank now for Saul Buenrostro, interrupted nimbly by Wenatchee, but not a major problem for Mr. Beaumont. The clock has stopped, which tells us that in a couple of minutes, the referee will take care of the time, and we will go into a quick commercial break here at the Apple Bowl. It's Wenatchee against Quincy. Quincy against Wenatchee as the home opener for the Panthers of their 2018 boys soccer season. So far, a hard-fought nil-nil tie between the visiting Jackrabbits and the Felines. And there's the whistle that tells us the first half is history with Wenatchee and Quincy trying hard but not being able to break the nil-nil tie. When we come back, we'll have the keys to this second half and a whole lot more here on NCW Live Channel. Don't go away. Welcome back to the Apple Bowl. Wenatchee has taken the field as has Quincy. Coach Johnson instructing his white-clad players, white on purple clad players and Quincy doing their by now traditional huddle how much of that is uh, last minute instructions and how much is that how much of that is staying warm Matt Wisen 50-50 um, or this mostly just kind of piping him up a little bit yeah <laughs> I know I was he, he might be given one last little bit of emphasis point of emphasis yeah. but, uh, absolutely no these guys I've seen them play in conditions far less friendly than these ones. As, as you mentioned during the break, the rain seems to have slowed down a little bit. It's still raining a, a, little, a little bit. Yeah, these guys, I mean, this isn't bad, really. Um, they're probably not even really feeling the cold. No, after 40 minutes of running, I'm, I'm, I'm quite certain they're not. Plus, they're high school. They wear shorts to school in the middle of winter. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Now for the second half, Wenatchee will take care of business from left to right on your screen and Quincy will do their thing from right to left. The whistle is off and we're in business here at the Apple Bowl. A quick move, cleared away by Quincy, Saul Buenrostro. A quick energized start for the contest for Wenatchee, looks like Matt Wisen. They went right after it from the start. Yeah. Um... When they kind of moved, uh, they switched Luis onto the right side and um, playing a little more central as well now. Trying to shake things up a little bit in the middle for Quincy. Basan can't quite catch up to that ball from Castillo. Throwing for Wenatchee. Shot across. Wenatchee had so many crosses. I don't, I don't want to really venture a guess, but I would say a large percentage of them came from Matt Springer last year via the throw-in. Um, everything this on their attacking end of the field that went out of bounds was pretty much a cross from a, a flip throw-in from, flip. from yep. Matt Springer. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and Wenatchee is very much built on bringing the ball down the sides and crossing that ball. Um, <clears throat> and so they lost a large percentage of their their balls into the box last year, and and when I asked uh, Tronson how do they how do they uh, fill that void um, pre-game, it'll be interesting to see how they do that because he's going to have to um, get a little creative now. He doesn't have the the, the team doesn't have that weapon anymore, <clears throat> and and not only crosses but the, I mean a large percentage of the goals came off of those throw-ins, or something that came from a throw-in. Um, so you've got to kind of uh, recreate some of your offense this year. Castillo looking for the through ball to connect with Jordi Coronel. A bit too short that time, but a good interruption for Quincy. And now Castillo trying to scoop the ball back up from the legs of Jonathan Tramberg. And 
Referee does not like that maneuver. It's a foul. And now another foul. This time against uh, in the person of uh, Luis Navarrete. Yeah, and this is a really dangerous location for, for Quincy. Uh, when actually, uh, you know, Luis wants this on his left foot here. He's going to have kind of an in-swinger. He's going to look at that far post and try and drive that ball hard. Um, I'd be surprised to see him actually look at anything other than a shot right here. Castillo getting the instructions from Beaumont. Four on the wall for Quincy, one on the wall for Monachi. There's the shot, bounces off the wall. Quick run down the left side across midfield, rejected, interrupted, and recovered. The problem. A push, clear a foul, clearly a foul. And Nacho Castillo has to laugh because it was so blatant. He just got a shove in the middle of his chest and fell Keister first onto the wet pitch. Yeah, I think Luis is a little, Luis a little frustrated in missing that shot right there. And now he kind of uh, takes it out on Nacho on the other side. And then he encroaches on that. There's the shot. On that free kick. Yeah, uh, well, he was way too close for that free kick. Referee let it slide. Well, and he also encroached during the shot. So uh, you got to be careful. You make contact with that, and you can draw that card out of your referee's pocket, especially after that foul being on you. Castillo and Buen Rostro. Buen Rostro and Castillo. Yours, mine, mine, yours. Coronel. Rejected and recovered by Wenachi. There's uh, Reyes. Reyes, good ball. Into the box we go. Left foot, the shot. And Mr. Bowman sees it sail away. It was Reyes, then Tramberg. And ultimately, it was Jose Camarillo with the shot. Not a major problem for uh, Bowman. He just watched it sail by. But still, a good combination for Wenachi. Four minutes, 23 seconds into this the second half of play. Quincy trying to put a stop to this maneuver by Wenachi. Along the right flank, Wenachi goes. Yeah, Tramberg's having a little um, a learning curve here playing American style soccer um, and American style high school soccer as well. Um, <laughs> And it'll take him some learning. Uh, he's, he's completely capable of doing it. Norway soccer is a little more structured um, and they a little more reserved, if you will. Yeah, left so, footed shot, making some room for it was Navarrete. As, as soon as uh, Jonathan gets caught up to speed on the, uh, the frenetic pace and, and um, quick build up, I, I think he's going to come into his own here. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a corner kick for Wenachi. First one of the second half. Second overall for the Panthers. Third overall for the game. By my count, that is. Five minutes, 36 seconds into this one. The quick corner instead. Turns into a give and go. The shot, and it goes wide. Good effort that time by Navarrete. And you, you know you're absolutely right. Frustration may be creeping in into the mental makeup of Luis Navarrete, his body language facing straight down at the ground speaks of perhaps somebody who's uh, not entirely content with his performance or the performance of his team for that matter. Yeah, um, Luis is just going to keep ra uh, ratcheting up though. You're not going to see him shut down. True. He'll just keep going harder and harder and look for more and more shots uh, and, and more opportunities. And Quincy's got to find a way to uh, match that energy or, or he's going to run right by him. A bit of a mixer there around midfield. Reyes. Whistle on the play. No, play continues. Uh, I think he... Um, Navarrete. He was looking to go to the ground Navarrete. there. And there wasn't contact. I think he... Uh, Mario did the, uh, the, the professional... Um, acting job there. Acting and a job good through ball that time. He's on side. Let's see who's going to get there first. And it's going to be the goalkeeper, Mr. Hurt. A good save by the goalkeeper for Wenachi on a quick counter by Quincy on a nimble through ball that time. And here comes Wenachi. It's been end to end here in this stretch of game, Matt Wisen. Yeah, they're um, definitely, I don't think either team's going to be happy with a 0 0 uh, a match. They want goals. 
you don't suppose they're gonna go into like penalty shootout or something or something of the sort, do you? I mean, it's it's a non-league game. Um, I you know I, I think so. Really? But, but you know I've been wrong before. Every I think uh, a year or two ago I predicted penalties and we didn't. And then last year we said no, no penalties and we we, we went. That's right. That's right. That's right. I know high school soccer does not like draws. For, for one reason or another. A quick run, nice maneuver, into the box we go. It's Camarillo trying to get that shot off, and there's Navarrete! And right at the line, the save by the Quincy defense. It looked like number 21, Gamboa, clearing it out. A good maneuver, I think. Man, more simulation in the box. There wasn't anything there. No, was... I don't think there was anything there either, but uh, Navarrete, yep. Navarrete preferred the finesse touch, and I think a mm -hmm. firmer, a firmer touch on the ball would have paid more dividends to Matt Wisen. I think so. His leg would have followed a little more through, and that ball would have drawn in a little harder, yeah. uh, and a little more on frame. It, from my perspective, it looked like it could have drifted wide. Uh, Quincy in a good spot to clear that ball off the line, though. And, um, more of that needs to happen from Wenatchee, though. They need more movement in front of the box and, and uh, a little more possession. The ball on the move. Castillo. Chucho Hernandez. Ball goes out of bounds. Castillo. The, putting the pause button on. Castillo swept away by the Wenatchee backfield. Actually, that's Navarrete. And now we have a bit of a collision there. Navarrete clearly unhappy. And the first yellow card of the game comes out. And it's for the Quincy Jackrabbits number seven, Jordi Coronel. Nine minutes, 10 seconds, second half. Well deserved, in my opinion. That was clearly a foul. Oh, that was a yellow card. Yeah. 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 Free kick, top of the box. There's Navarrete once again. Navarrete, the good turn. Surrounded as he's been most of the game. Quick nudge by Quincy. Ball goes out of bounds. Throw in for the Panthers. Defensive header by Gamboa. Ball goes out of bounds once again. And it's the third corner kick of the game for the Panthers, second of the half, fourth overall for the game. 50 minutes on the clock, 10 minutes into this first, uh, into this second half, I beg your pardon. The shot, Camarillo backing it up. Reyes, and that one goes out and wide, and another corner kick in the making for the Panthers. Fourth of the game for the hosts which are in the midst of a nil-nil tie here against the visiting Quincy Jackrabbits. Yeah, seeing a little more life from Wenatchee. They... Uh, absolutely. You were saying? Um, they need to watch these, like I was going to say, they need to watch this quick off the corner. They, they send Eric Owen in, and, um, and that's one thing where he's got such speed back there, he can really shut down a counterattack quickly. Uh, but when they're bringing him in on the attack, we well, just got to be careful. It's a different story when he's not right there manning his post. 51 minutes, two seconds, a quick give and go. Trying to connect with Tramberg. First on it, however, will be Chucho Hernandez. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be Wenatchee throwing. It looks like the rain picked up a little bit more now. Indeed. Shot across. Whistle on the play. Let's see what the referee has called. A foul for? against. Out. Well. A foul right. against Wenatchee, it looks like. Yeah, maybe call him. Uh, well, it looks like it was out of bounds for a goal oh, kick. Okay. Goal kick for the Quincy Jackrabbits. <laughs> Herbo goes out of bounds. Another throw in this time. Wenatchee with a little more pep in their step here in the second half, moving more quickly, even just sending the ball back in after a throw in. Seems to be happening with more energy. There's Chirinos. Tramberg. 
rejected by the Jacks. Good ball. Good ball that time. <coughs> Mid long, however, looks like uh, number 16, Cepeda, catching up to that one, or rather, failing to catch up to that one. Back in the move, Buen Rostro, taken back by Chirinos. Rivera. Arriaga, Rivera. The Jacks in the recovery. Basan. Buen Rostro. Basan. Taken back by Wenachi. This could be interesting. Navarrete enters the box. The chipper into the heart of the box. Looking for Camarilla. Nobody there to connect. There's Tramberg. Navarrete. Over the crossbar. Yeah, he took the shot right off his teammate's foot there. <laughs> 53 minutes, 9 seconds into this one. 13 minutes and 9 into the second half of play. Wenatchee and Quincy tied a nil-nil. Couple of substitutions happening, it looks like. Number 14 for Quincy will take a seat. That is Estrada, one of the subs. We'll tell you in a second who takes his spot. It looks like Jordi came Number back Number 7, Jordi Coronel. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a throw in for Wenatchee. Quick run. Reyes into the box. Cleared away by Chepe Lopez. Ball goes out of bounds. It will be a throw in for the Panthers. Looking with almost everything they've got for that first tally of the game. We haven't seen much of Mr. Hurt here in the second half of the goalkeeper for Wenatchee. There's the header. Trying again, trying to connect the shot! Oh my goodness! And the frustration and disappointment were just visible from space because Mr. Calderilla looked, he firmly believed that he had that shot, he had that goal, and Mr. Bowman put, put a stop to it. Yeah, that Six was, yards away from him at the very most. That was a sitter right there in front. Um, good reaction save, but right at the keeper there. Um, you know, you do what you can. A lot, a lot of, that was a good good contact with the ball. Can't ask for much more on that. Oh, it happened so quick. And we're almost 15 minutes into this, and it's been all Wenatchee here in the second half. I have to say, we've barely seen Quincy try to do something. This may be the opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, Quincy did dodge a bullet there big time. Um, they've so far absorbed all this pressure Wenatchee's bringing. Uh, let's see if they can put some back on Wenatchee this time. There is Castillo. Quick touch, Castillo. Only one waiting in the box. Castillo, personal maneuver, Castillo. Top of the box now. The right footed shot. Go, 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 go. for the Quincy Jackrabbits. What were we saying? We hadn't seen Quincy. We hadn't seen Quincy do, do much in the second half, and all of a sudden it's a 1-0 lead for the folks from Grant County. Matt Weiser. Yeah, uh, when I actually uh, looked at their defense right before that, they had five back on the line, all playing deep, all off of Quincy's attackers, and, and kind of watching the ball. That's um, lethal. They, um, Saul had... A day and a half to take that shot. <laughs> so, uh, Wenatchee's got to figure that out. Their communication um, and just um, picking up the responsibilities there. And we have, as they like to say in baseball, a brand new ball game because this will not sit well with anybody. No. Really rooting for the purple and gold here. Not at all. Now, it'll be interesting also to see what a Quincy quick run. does. There goes Jordi. Uh, Jordi once again waiting for it. On the left is Felipe Cepeda who can't quite manage to get a hold of that one. And it will be Mr. Hurt's ball now. Goal kick for Wenatchee. What a difference a goal makes. I don't care if it's non-league, Euroleague, you name it. Yeah, 16 minutes into the second half. Um... It's too early to park the bus if you're Quincy. You don't no. want to keep. You don't want to invite any more pressure no. than they've had. No, because they were busy. They were busy. 
as can be trying to hold off a very energized a very pumped up Quincy team and now Chirinos will take a seat will be replaced by number three Orlando Howe Chirinos not looking entirely pleased with the substitution 57 26 In this contest, whistle on the play, foul called. It will be a free kick for the Quincy Jack Rabbits, who are now leading Wenatchee one goal to nil. There's a quick move. Jordi getting that left foot ready. Cepeda trying to scoop that one up. Ball goes out of bounds with more urgency than finesse. And Jordi's getting a little frustrated. He's got to really watch himself here sitting on the yellow. Who is? Yeah, Jordi. He had a little bit of a kickback after he went to the ground on that one that the referee missed. There's the touch. One rostro. Recovered by Wenatsi. Can make it past midfield, however. First on it is Vasquez. Recovered by Wenatchee once again. Quick move down the left stripe. Top of the box. Saldivar. Opening the game up for Howe. Dragging two markers. Ball goes out of bounds. It should be Wenatchee ball, and it is. And we're actually sending, sending more attackers now. They're only leaving one back. <clears throat> 59 minutes, 11 seconds into this one. Almost at 20-minute uh, mark here in this second half. So we're entering the second half of the second half, if you will. Folks, a uh, quick reminder... Today's broadcast is sponsored by Wenatchee Valley YMCA for youth development, healthy living, and social responsibility. There's the throw-in. Castillo. A quick chipper. Nobody can quite corral that one. Cleared away to the bleachers. And a couple of those bundled up fans found themselves with a souvenir of sorts. A temporary one, though. Throw in for Wenatchee, Arriaga. Tramberg, rejected by the Jacks. Coronel, ball goes out of bounds. Throw in for Wenatchee once again. 60 minutes, 20 seconds into this contest. Wenatchee with 20 minutes to make something happen. And who thought we would have to say something like that here? The way the second half started, Matt Wiseman. Oh, not me. <laughs> not no. me either. Once he's got, what, uh, three or four freshmen playing on this team this year. Um, Long ball. And the stop by Beaumont. You were saying? But it, it's competitive. You know, small towns like this, it can be, if you've got players, it can be really competitive to make a team. And, and those players are used to fighting for everything they've got. And not that Wenatchee hasn't had tough roads, but um, that's just fuel for Quincy. They see Wenatchee as getting everything they want. You know, great, great field, turf field. They've got. Um, all kinds of players to choose from, stuff like that. So it's just fuel for Quincy to really fight hard. Um, and uh, you know, hopefully, when Atchi can uh, can really quit thinking that they've got everything, you know. Um, I go back to what I call the the little brother, brother syndrome. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Big brother, you th you think you're coming into a game like this, and it's hard not to take your foot off the pedal just a little bit. So um, Wenatchee's capable. I've seen them, and, and they can play outstanding. Now, right now, they just look like um, they're they're all trying to do it on their own. They're not playing as a team? Um, a lot of individual play going yeah. on right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, okay. 
Um, and some of it's outstanding. But Quincy is able to get numbers around the ball quickly and take that individual out of the game. 62 minutes, 14 seconds into this one, and a free kick for the Jack Rabbits. Chepe Lopez giving directions. About five yards behind the ball, there's Lopez. Rejected by, look like Owen. Flag is up. No, nope, play continues. There's Jordi Coronel. A player down for Wenatchee. <clears throat> now he's vertical again. It's Navarrete. Things got, could get chippy in a hurry here. Yeah, Luis, I don't think it was a foul, but I think he, they knocked knees. And, and that was ball. a great ball. Good ball great run. into the box. Left footed and Framberg. Stress testing Tyson Bowman and Bowman responding like a champ. Great on both ends. Wenatchee is a fantastic run and pass. Um, and that was about as solid of a save uh, in these conditions as you're going to see. Castillo. Hurt. Stopped up midfield. Castillo once again. Navarrete. Buen Rostro, the man with the lone tally of this contest. Quick move. Down the flank. Shot across. A bit too long for Navarrete, for uh, uh, Coronel. Good ball. Ball goes across. out of bounds. That was a good idea by, by Quincy, though. Yeah, really 63, dangerous ball 51. across. Looks like Luis might have just knocked knees there when he was yeah, down on the he's, ground he's, earlier. He's walking with some difficulty, and he's just been replaced by Faraz Nassar. Quick touch. Castillo. The quick push upfield by Quincy, by uh, Jose Lopez, to be more specific. The back three of Wenatchee holding on. Owen. Arriaga. Arriaga. The heel touch does not quite work by Nasser. Play continues with the throw in for Wenatchee. Castillo. Cleared away partially by Quincy. Trying again is this Winachi the shot! What a rocket! What a rocket by number 14 for Winachi Eric Saldivar. And this one is tied at 1 1, 65 minutes, 20 seconds. And we're even at one apiece. Matt Wisen. And Quincy did not see that shot coming. No. Um, just completely took that keeper by surprise. That was an outstanding shot. But that was one of those low skipping shots in this kind of conditions. Um, you got to be taking those. And kudos to Anachi. Let's see what happens here for the last 15 minutes of this contest. There's the shot and a spectacular save by Mr. Hurt sending that one to the corner kick. A uh, nice shot by Felipe Cepeda, testing the reflexes of the goalkeeper, uh, Zach Hurt. Great, great stretch by Zach getting out there. Um, that was a, a challenging ball drifting away from the keeper to make that save. There's a corner kick for Quincy. Hector so Solorio coming on for Wenatchee. Solorio, another substitution. Thank you, Matt. A quick run down the left flank. Jordi Coronel, Jordi. And that chipper does not surprise. Mr. Hurtball goes out of bounds. It will be Wenatchee ball.
Owen. Battling it out with the Quincy's Nacho Castillo. <clears throat> the shot, ball goes out of bounds. It will be goal kick for the Panthers. And uh, second half with a few surprises so far, Matt Wisen. Yeah, I'm two fantastic shots. I, um, just uh, no real letdown on the defense. It's just uh, great shots. So, you know, we're, we're tied up still 1-1, but at least we got some, some uh, scores on the board. No intimidation factor at all from Quincy. And Wenatchee not letting down on the... Uh, uh, gas pedal here in late in the second half, especially after that brilliant strike by Saldivar and a bit of a sandwich going on there. Whistle on the play foul called. Two Quincy players teaming up to put some pressure and then some on Nasser and it will be a free kick for the Panthers. Nacho Castillo, the lone man on the wall and he's barely at the 10 yard mark. There's the shot. Ooh. Oh, that was dangerous decision. Dangerous, <laughs> yeah, to say the least. Yeah, and we got about 11 minutes left in this in this match, and um, uh, I'm not sure why he decided to use his feet on that on that save. Trying again is Calderilla, Guillermo Calderilla that time. Touch back. Trying again along the. Right flank was Calderilla. And Jordi Coronel off to the races. Yeah, I think Jordi. Marked is. and well marked by Andrew Mart. Uh, beg your pardon, that's number 20, Diego Sitio. I think Jordi was expecting that ball to come a little more central and not to the outside. And a quick touch by Guillermo Calderilla. Nice Ball's maneuver. Ball's turning to skip around a no, lot. A little bit, yep. <clears throat> Shot across. Defensive maneuver trying to get his Calderilla. And Mr. Beaumont responding once again. Yeah, that ball is dipping pretty good. That, he hit that well. We have another corner kick. That would be, by my count, the fifth of the game for Wenatchee, fourth of the half alone. And we're 10 minutes away from the end of regulation with these two teams tied up at 1-1. Collision there after the play, however. It will be a corner kick once again, this time from the other flank. There's the kick, shot, cleared back, and out of bounds. Let's see what the referee says. It's Quincy ball. 70 minutes, 50 seconds into this one. We're going to have a substitution before this throw-in as the rain continues to pick up. And more and more umbrellas are called up for duty here on the bleachers. Now Quincy's defense is holding up really well. Um, uh, hopefully uh, sending a guy cold in this late in the half can uh, can be uh, interesting sometimes. Sometimes can backfire, yep. Sometimes can backfire. Especially this early in the season when yeah. there's not a whole lot of muscle memory to work with well, and, and for I'm some not, of these young kids. Yeah, and I'm not really seeing Quincy's players out, out on, the, they're on the bench really warming up. No, no. Um, you you got to have a sweat broken before you touch the field. Especially if you want to compete and stay healthy. Sorto. <clears throat> Coronel. Owen. Quick move straight up the middle. One more to beat. Shot across. And once again, Beaumont. Responding. Nice job that time.
That was Nassar on the shot. Faris Nassar. 72 minutes, 19 seconds. Into this one, long ball. Far too long for either Cepeda or for Jordi Coronel. Whistle on the play, however. We'll see what the referee has determined. Looks like... Looks like we need some... Um, keeper needs some attention here. He, he's saying he got an elbow somewhere. And this will be Tyson Bowman, who's had, despite the goal he gave up, he's had a, a, an outstanding game. Bowman says he's okay. Yeah, he's got something going on with his right shoulder. Uh, took a bump somehow. Play continues. Seven, three, 73 minutes, 12 seconds. Into this one, Quincy and Winachi tied at one apiece. A quick review tells us that uh, the first goal of the contest happened in the 55th minute. Saul Buenrostro with a masterful, masterful strike. And speaking of masterful strikes, the tying tally, 65th minute, Eric Saldivar with one of his own. And that's where we stand now, seven minutes. Make, make that six minutes and change before the end of regulation. A quick run down the middle by Navarrete getting that left foot ready and that one sails over the crossbar. And it will be a goal kick for the Quincy Jack Rabbits. Navarrete wants that tally. Yeah, he does. He's uh, wanting, wanting real bad. Five and a half plus change left in this game, and it'll be interesting to see how hard they push. Camarillo, the quick move, left foot, Nasser, go, 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 go! And Winetti takes the lead. Nasser with a nice shot that uh, gave a funky bounce, and that gave. Mr. Bowman some trouble. And that gives Winachi a two to one lead. Yeah, that, that ball did not hop, it skipped. And uh, I think I think uh, Keeper was expecting a little more of a hop on that and it squeaked right under him. <clears throat> happens, happens to the best of them, happens at, at all levels, especially in this kind of weather with this kind of conditions. Yeah, that was a fantastic hard paced shot, kept it low to the ground. Quick, got that ball off his foot very quickly. 74, 75th minute, make that. That is Nasser with the 2 1 lead for Winachi. Five minutes to go. Nice comeback for the Panthers so far. It's not over quite yet. A quick run. Calderilla. Make that Camarillo, I beg your pardon. <coughs> Calderilla is number five, Guillermo Calderilla. And that one gets sent to. It's like another short the corner, corner going to take place here again mm -hmm. and probably try and spring Luis free on the. Quincy's seen this already, though. And yeah, there's the short corner. Quick run. Navarrete. Navarrete. Switching flanks. Touch to the top of the box. Nacho Castillo waiting for it was Tachis Lopez, the other Jose Lopez. Ball goes out of bounds. Castillo. Basan. Rejected back to Basan. Well, Quincy's going to have to send up their third. Navarrete. Third uh, defender, if they're going to want to keep it. This could be dangerous. This is a three on two. The through ball for Nasser. And it's number five for the Jack Rabbits, Robert Corona, clearing things up. Almost at the 77 minute mark here at the Apple Bowl. Wenatchee and Quincy putting on a good one here in the second half, Matt Wison. Uh, yeah, Wenatchee's definitely been uh, resilient, found ways to get shots off and um, tally. 
I don't think Wenatchee is satisfied there's with two goals. Shot, no, <laughs> and there's proof right there. Yep. Number seven for Wenatchee. Uh, Reyes sending one over the crossbar that perhaps deserved better. Yeah, and, and Quincy's now they're starting to feel like they're they're getting tired. Um, they they have that appearance. Their shoulders are slumped a little bit, um, and and they're just not as quick. They're getting beat to the ball now, and Anchi's kind of really starting to take it to them a little bit. And the fact that the second goal came in the fashion that it did on a funky uh, mm -hmm. bounce uh, really, really takes the wind out of yep. your sail, especially when you're in a situation in which you're the underdog and you're playing a pretty decent game. Huh? <coughs> Whistle yep. on the play, foul called. It will be Quincy Ball. And here in a handful of seconds, the clock will more than likely stop. And it will be up to the referee, that gentleman in red, to determine when this one goes in the books. Quincy and Wenatchee from the Apple Bowl with Wenatchee taking a 2-1 lead into the last minutes of this contest. The first goal belonged to the Jack Rabbits. Since then, Wenatchee has been able to mount quite the comeback. 2-1 lead for the Panthers. There's the kick, rejected. Navarrete still looking for that tally. <laughs> They're still wanting to make something happen. Bit yeah. of a collision there. He's just got to settle down and quit trying to do so much on his own there. I know he wants to get that tally, but when Nancy was out on the break. It's, it's, uh, it's get to be counterproductive at one point, I would say. A quick move by Tachis Lopez. Recovered by Brian Sorto, Coronel. I know Jordy wants that shot just anywhere in there. He's getting a little frustrated. He can't get that ball at his feet. Cleared away by the other Jose Lopez, Chepe. And a little bit of youth there from Quincy. Um, that that drop back was, was there. Instead, he chose to turn the ball over yep. and give a throw in for Wenatchee. A quick run down the left flank. Reyes, shot across, doesn't prosper. Ball goes out of bounds. Let's see what the referee has determined. He's looking Checking at his, at his watch, absolutely. <coughs> Dropping his whistle. He's trying to blow it. <laughs> it's slippery just like the ball. <clears throat> and it's going to be a corner kick for Wenatchee, the sixth one of the game for the so far leading Panthers. 2-1 to one ahead. <clears throat> Excuse me, ahead of the Jack Rabbits. There's the shot. And Camarillo. Over the crossbar. This could be the last play of the game here, folks. Recovered quickly by the Panthers. Navarrete. Leaving one behind. Trying for two. Can't quite do it. They touch by number five Corona goes out of bounds there's Corona and there's the whistle that tells us that this one is history with Wenatchee overcoming a very tough Quincy Jackrabbit squad by a score of two goals to one we're going to take a quick break and when we come back a quick post game show and recap of the action here at the Apple Bowl you're watching NCW live channel don't go away Welcome back to the Apple Bowl, where we have just watched Wenatchee put on a pretty impressive comeback here in the second half to defeat a very pesky Quincy Jackrabbit squad by a final tally of 2-1. to one. The first goal belonged to Quincy, ninth minute. Uh, Saul Buenrostro uh, make that the 55th minute. That uh, will be the 15th minute of the second half. And uh, then Wenatchee with a lot of brawn and with a lot of effort put on a comeback that I'm sure will be talked about for quite a while at, the, at practice uh, in the days to come. Eric Saldivar won one tie, 65th minute, and then uh, Nasser, number eight for Wenatchee Fares Nasser, making the 2-1 affair for the Panthers in the 75th minute. Uh, quite the contest for uh, for uh, Wenatchee, this Quincy squad. 
Matt yeah. Wiseman. Um, yeah, you know, on paper, it doesn't look like it, but that's why we play the game. I'll get real cliche with you. Um, it was a sloppy, it, it may not pick up on the camera, but it's slippery out there. It's sloppy. It wasn't always a pretty game tonight. Um, but when actually showed some grit, um, they fought back a team that was really believing that they could win. Um, and Quincy, Quincy had the momentum. They had the early, the early goal in the second half. Uh, but when actually did not give up, they found a way to win. Uh, it may not have been the way they drew it up, but it doesn't necessarily matter. They got shots off, and that's what matters, and, and those shots were accurate. Um, and and um, squeaked one out 2-1. to one. Absolutely. <laughs> Folks, we'd like to remind you before we go that on Friday, March 16th at 7 p.m., we have a Wenatchee Valley Boys Lacrosse action here live in the game against Southbridge with Eric Granstrom and Rod Higley on the play-by-play -play and color. Uh, as far as this broadcast is concerned, it has been an absolute pleasure to bring this to you. Thank you very much for being with us. On behalf of Mike Price, Jessica Medina, Becca Freemuth, Matt Wisen, and uh, what's the word he used he was? Oh, yeah, our producer, our producer, Dan, Dan Kuntz. Uh, I'm Sebastian Moraga saying thank you for being with us. We'll see you next time. Good night. Thanks for watching Boys High School Soccer on the NCW Life Channel. Tonight's broadcast was brought to you by the Wenatchee Valley YMCA. We now return to regular programming on your source for sports in North Central Washington, the NCW Life Channel.